understand, there's a couple different ways you guys are going to see notation. This g of f of x, this is representing our composition symbol. Another way that you'll see this written is going to look like this, which is kind of like what we just did. Right? It's kind of what we just did. So I just want you guys to understand when you see something like this, just know this is saying g of f of x, g of f of x. So basically what we're doing is we're taking f of x and we're plugging it into g of x, right? The nice thing about these problems is, do we know what g and f of x are? Yeah, so not le at least we're not doing it we're not in like total abstract. But anyways, let's go ahead and plug f of x into the g of x function. So I have my g of x function, which is the square root of x. And then I have my f of x function, which is 1 over x minus 3. Oops, I'm sorry, hold on. Let's do this slowly, right? Don't want to rush into things. Do you guys see how uh, now what I'm doing is I basically took my f of x function and plugged it into my g of x function. f of x, plugged it in for, into the g of x. Does everybody see that? This is what we did. That's what we last did. That was OK, because we didn't know what uh, the f of x was. Now we know what this is. This is equal to square root of 1 over x minus 3. Hopefully you guys remember when you have the square root of a fraction, that basically means the square root of 1 over the square root of x minus 3, right? And the square root of 1 is just 1 over the square root of x minus 3. Now, when you guys are doing these composition problems, I'll tell you there's going to be two things I'm going to ask you. One is to find the composition, like we just did. That's the answer. And number two is to find the domain. Oh, no, not the domain. Well, that's OK, because we've already learned how to find the domain of something like this, right? So we look at this and say, hey, what do we need to know? We know that this is under a radical, and it's in a denominator. So whatever's under the radical, x minus 3 has to be greater than 0. I don't want it to be greater than or equal to, right? Because if it's equal to, we have 0 in the denominator, which is not going to work. So I just go ahead and solve. I see x has to be greater than positive 3. Oh, OK, the lowest number then is 3. Does 0 not work? 0 minus 3 is negative 3. No, 0 doesn't work. It's only 3 and bigger numbers. So 3 is the smallest number. It's not included, because if you have 3, that's 0. Square root of 0 is 0. Divide by 0 is undefined. So the domain looks like that. Cool? Not cool? Very cool.